Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video for Tuesday, the 20th of September. Hey, getting close to the solstice, not the solstice, the equinox. That's early. The official arrival of fall is at the end of this week on Friday. And uh, between now and then, the weather a bit unsettled. Now, let's go to some of the uh, Skycam shots around the network this morning. And yes, it is early, 5 o'clock. Who's up at this hour of the day? That's the uh, Birmingham Skycam looking to the east from high atop the uh, Daniel Building. Low clouds are hanging over the city this morning. A bit of light rain in spots. That's the Tuscaloosa Skycam. They got a good soaking last night, about one inch of rain. Big uh, soaker last night. Uh, that's the uh, Hugh Thomas Bridge, US 43 bridge between Tuscaloosa and Northport, and from Demopolis down in Marengo County. Down there, they picked up about one inch as well. All right, got a really strong shortwave coming down across the Canadian border, and that's pulling down some really cold air up there. In the meantime, the moisture axis here is kind of stalled out, and it's going to sit over us for a while, despite the dry air not that far away. Here's the radar at uh, 5 o'clock, and uh, you can see patchy rain across the state. Uh, some of the better rain at that hour falling around Smith Lake and uh, southwest of Birmingham, down toward Brent Centerville, Greensboro, Demopolis. And we'll see off and on showers uh, today and really for the next uh, few days. Ooh, look at that cool air coming down behind that uh, cold front way up north. You got uh, about, what, 35 degrees in the core of that? Also nice and cool over the Great Lakes. And uh, again, there's a cold front just northwest of here. There's the surface analysis, and you can see one front around Memphis, and then that really good uh, Canadian front is coming down through South Dakota and Wyoming. The lead front's going to stall out, and we'll watch the second front. But the bottom line is, uh, between now and Thursday, uh, no fronts will pass through here. It's going to stay kind of unsettled. That's the uh, watch warning map. Uh, Got wind advisories up over the Dakotas, some dense fog issues uh, around parts of the uh, uh, Great Lakes, down toward Indianapolis and St. Louis. But again, uh, no severe weather issues today. And there's the uh, convective outlook today. General thunderstorms around here, but again, it uh, does not look like a severe weather setup. Although you could hear some thunder and lightning in spots. Rain for the next five days. This is valid through uh, Saturday evening at 7 o'clock, and this is suggesting uh, mostly rainfall amounts between one and two inches here. And uh, this does count the rain that started last night at seven. And we'll take that. Tropical weather, pretty quiet across the Atlantic Basin. Considering the time of the year, this is when you'd expect it to be exploding out there. But there is one uh, well-organized wave in the central Atlantic, about halfway between the coast of Africa and the uh, Lesser Antilles and Here's the uh, forecast uh, model output. Uh, you know, a, a lot of the models have shifted right, and I think this could be the right solution in that uh, there's, there's going to be this big upper low, you know, setting up over the eastern part of the country uh, this weekend and early next week. And you just think that this would turn this to an Atlantic recurving storm. Again, too early to know for sure, but models are leaning that way, and it sure seems to be a setup for that. Uh, the intensity guidance, most uh, the systems bring it up to tropical storm strength. It would be called Ophelia, if that's the case, and we'll keep an eye on that. This is the OZGFS, valid at 7 o'clock this evening. Very strong uh, upper feature over min uh, Minnesota, and uh, down below that, we stay in that moisture axis. Uh, so a lot of clouds around today with uh, occasional showers, maybe some thunder. Tomorrow, the uh, moisture goes nowhere, so again, scattered, uh, maybe numerous showers and storms, and really Thursday, the same. Uh, the cold front is approaching, and that might give us a little bump in the coverage of showers and storms on Thursday, and the weather should be uh, warmer the next few days, with the highs getting up into the uh, 80s, humidity values coming up, so uh, kind of warm and muggy type weather. All right, Friday, that big upper low is over uh, Chicago with the trailing trough axis, and down below that, the cold front by Friday evening is near Montgomery. This run is slower with the passage of the front, and this would suggest we might need to hang on to some risk of showers in maybe Friday morning, early Friday morning, with a clearing sky by Friday afternoon. Um, and uh, again, with the upper low not that far away, we'll have to watch for potential for low clouds kind of you know, hanging around 
uh, through the day and maybe Friday night. So again, for now, we'll spin it optimistic. We're just saying clearing on Friday and cooler, but uh, again, uh, we might have to insert some risk of lingering showers Friday morning, and the clearing might be slow. Just be aware of that. All right, Saturday, a reasonable chance it's going to be a nice day. Uh, sunny, lower humidity. Uh, although uh, the, the, the GFS is much warmer for some reason. It's, it's coming out with 84. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, we've got a high in the upper 70s. We'll leave it there for now based on the uh, low-level thickness values. But again, that upper low, it's, uh, it's those things are tough to deal with, not that far away. Let me show you Sunday, going back to uh, 500 millibars, that thing is still just sitting there. It's totally cut off it's near Chicago. And you know the way it works. you got lobes that rotate around that like spokes in a wheel, those X's. And uh, one lobe is coming around, and uh-oh, uh, there comes a, a chance of showers on Sunday. So, uh, you know, for the moment, our ongoing forecast does not include rain. I honestly do think we'll have to probably insert a chance of showers on Sunday based on this. Uh, and then we'll go to Monday of next week. And again, a, a surface type front is coming in through here that would represent much cooler air behind that. And there's a, a week from today and the front moves down to Montgomery. The upper low begins to move east. So, you know, the deal, upper low, weatherman's woe and uh, uh, the weekend forecast, a little iffy. We're reasonably confident we'll be okay Friday night and Saturday. Sunday is questionable. There could uh, have to be a chance of showers inserted there. All right, let's go deep into the forecast. How about October 5th? Ooh, that looks like winter time. Wow. Much of the uh, U.S. and North America with a deep trough. Uh, 588 uh, Ridge over the Pacific with a big ridge pumping up over Alaska. And what does that look? It looks cold, man. Goodness. I see a 1,044 millibar high over Canada. Hey, is this January or October here? And a strong cold front coming down the pike. So, uh, and look, you know, we all know that will probably vanish on the next run. But the thought of that sure looks nice after a long, hot summer. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Being Alabama's news leader means digging deeper to get you the facts, working harder so you have all sides of the story and not being afraid to tell the truth. Every day you award us by making ABC 3340 Alabama's most watched news. And now the Associated Press has named us Alabama's most outstanding news operation. That's nine times since 1996, more than all other stations combined. And that's nine more reasons you should trust the news leader. ABC 3340.